In the last video, I have shown you how to set up the TikTok Initiate Checkout event along with its parameters with Google Tag Manager. In today's video, we'll go through how to set up the TikTok Purchase event with parameters. Now, unlike View Content or Add to Card, the Purchase event is a little more advanced in case of parameters, but it's a lot like the Checkout event setup. If you have watched my previous video, it will be easy for you. Many of the things from the Checkout event will apply here that probably won't be mentioned in this video again so i will recommend to watch the previous video the initiate checkout video i have given the link in the description now let me show you tiktok's document about standard events and their parameters here's the list of standard events description and their recommended parameters now let's find out the purchase event from this list here it is purchase it will fire when a visitor makes a purchase. TikTok recommends using this event when placing an order and making a purchase are the same. Please remember this point. We will discuss it again in a moment. Look at the parameters of purchase. You will see content type, quantity, description, content IDs, currency, and value. So to set this up properly, we'll need to create variables that can dynamically fetch purchase data from the data layer. I've already created those variables in my initial checkout video. So here I will just insert them into the tag. First, let me introduce myself. I'm Sultan, a professional web analyst. I specialize in Google Tag Manager, Google Ads Conversion Tracking, Facebook Pixel and Conversion API, GA4 Setup, Pinterest, TikTok and Snapchat Pixel and Conversion API integrations, etc. I am available on Upwork and Fiverr. You can also reach me directly via WhatsApp or Gmail. If you are looking for accurate tracking and reliable data, I am here to help. Let's get your analytics done right. So now let's dive into the process. As you can see, I have a few tabs open. This is the website where I'm going to set up the tag. This is Google Tag Manager connected already with the website. And this is TikTok Business Center. Just to let you know, I have already connected the TikTok Pixel to the website using Google Tag Manager and created tags for previous events like few content add to cart and initiate checkout. So in this video, I will skip the pixel integration part and other tag setup. If you would like to learn how to do that, I have left the links to those videos in the description. Please check that out. Now I will open Google Tag Manager and create a new tag. Tag configuration. I will choose from here TikTok pixel that I have added from gallery. Now under event configuration, we have to insert here the pixel ID. I have already created a constant variable with the TikTok pixel ID. I'm going to use that. If you need to create a constant variable, you can click on plus icon and then again click on plus icon, then variable configuration, then choose from here constant and then paste here the pixel ID and then save. It will be created since I have already created one. So I'm going to use that. Here it is tiktok pixel id then event name as i mentioned earlier this is the point i wanted you to remember let's take another look at the document here you can see tiktok recommends using this event when placing an order and making a purchase are the same which means we'll actually have two events one is place an order and the other is purchase now ideally we should use purchase event when both of these are considered the same event on our website but if they are different then we should simply match them accordingly whichever aligns with the correct event i hope this part is clear now let's focus on this list on our purchase page, there are actually only two events that can fire, complete payment and place an order. There's no event named purchase. Just as we saw in the documentation, I'm not sure whether that's my misunderstanding or something else. Anyway, after digging into it, what I realized is that for my website, the place order event should be used. Now you may have a question, then when do you use complete payment? On some websites, when you process the payment, that automatically completes the order. In that case, the complete payment event is basically the same as a purchase. But on other sites, there might be an extra order confirmation step. And in those cases, TikTok also provides a place and order event that can be used to track orders. So just pick the one that matches how your website checkout flow actually works. Well, since on my website the order is placed immediately after the payment info is submitted all on the same page, in this case, I will choose place an order as the purchase event. Here it is. Then parameter override. Here we can see advanced matching configurations, 
and we have two options SHA 256 AM parameters that means advanced matching parameters and plain AM parameters. We have to enter here variables that collect email, phone number and external ID. In the previous videos I didn't show you how to set up variables for email, phone number and external ID during event setup. I mentioned that I would demonstrate those while setting up the purchase event. So let's now see how this can be set up. In case of my website, when I checked in GTM preview mode, I noticed that once a user completes a purchase, the data layer contains both the email and phone number. So I will create variables for email and phone number using the data layer. Let me walk you through this in GTM preview mode. First I will duplicate this tab, then go to preview mode and after that I will complete a purchase. There you go, our purchase is complete. I will open Tag Assistant tab and click on continue. On the left side menu, I will find out purchase. Then open data layer tab. Here you can see in the data layer, we have customer data like first name, last name, email, phone number, etc. I will create variables using this data layer. So let's go to Google Tag Manager. As for the external ID, since creating it takes a bit more time, I will cover that in a separate video. For this tutorial, I have already created the external ID variable in advance and I will simply insert it here. As we can see, here we have two options. If I select this option, then I need to set up variables that will capture the email and phone number directly from the data layer. Once collected, these values should be converted into a hashed format before being passed through the event. But if I select this option, then we can see TikTok Pixel will hash plain email and phone number for us. So for simplicity, I am choosing this option. So click on plus icon. Then again, I will click on plus icon variable configuration then data layer variable the variable name will be i will open tag assistant tab and copy from here order data and then customer then billing then email go to google tag manager and i will paste here order data dot customer dot billing dot email I will entitle the variable user email then save in the same way I will create a variable for phone number I will entitle the variable user phone number then save as for external ID, since creating it takes a bit more time, I will cover that in a separate video. For this tutorial, I have already created the external ID variable in advance and I will simply insert it here. And then properties, for example, product data. I'm not going to use Google Analytics e-commerce data layer. Instead, I will go with manually input single or multiple products. Here we have three options, single content, multiple contents, no contents. For the purchase event, a user can purchase multiple products at once. The decision between single content and multiple contents is the same as I explained in the checkout event video. If you are unsure which one to use, check that video for the full breakdown. So I will choose from here single content and then content IDs. I will click on plus icon, then choose from here item IDs. Then content type will be product, then content name, then quantity, then value, then currency. For the description parameter, I have checked the data layer on the purchase page as well as the thank you page in GTM preview. Unfortunately, this website doesn't currently include product descriptions at the purchase stage. So we can track the description parameter for the purchase event here. If you want to include descriptions with your purchase event as recommended by TikTok, you would need to have the product descriptions pushed into the data layer. This typically requires assistance from a web developer. Once that is done, capturing and sending descriptions becomes straightforward and fully compatible with TikTok's event parameters. So for now, I'm gonna skip it and directly go to the trigger section.
In my case, when a users complete a purchase, an event named purchase is pushed to the data layer. I've already created a custom trigger for it. So click on triggering and then purchase trigger. If your site doesn't push a purchase event, you might need to use an alternative trigger like a page view trigger on the thank you page or a button click, etc. Now I will enter till the tag TikTok purchase event. Then save. There you go. TikTok purchase tag is created. The setup is now complete. Next, we need to verify that the tag is firing correctly. We can do this in three steps. Number one, GTM preview mode to check that the tag triggers on the purchase page and the variables are populated correctly. Number two, TikTok pixel helper Chrome extension to ensure the event is being sent with all parameters. Number three, TikTok events manager, then test events to confirm that TikTok is receiving the event in real time. So let's go ahead and start the testing process. First, I will open the preview mode from GTM and enter here the website URL and connect. There you go, tag assistant connected. Now I will complete a purchase. There you go, our purchase is complete. Like you can see, your order has been received and we are on order received page. If I open tag assistant tab and click on continue, then we can see our TikTok purchase tag has been fired. If I select from here purchase and then open TikTok purchase event, then you can see all of the variables are tracking data like content name, quantity, content ID, external ID, content type, phone number and email, etc. If I open the website and click on TikTok Pixel Helper extension, then we can see an event place in order that means purchase event has a green signal. If I click here, we also see the parameters in details. Now we will test it in TikTok Events Manager. Before checking it in TikTok Events Manager, I will submit and publish the setup on Google Tag Manager. Because sometime without submitting it here, TikTok Events Manager doesn't work. I will name this version TikTok Purchase Event Setup. Then publish. Now I will open TikTok Business Center and hover the mouse on these three lines, then open Events Manager. Then I will open the Pixel. Then open Test Events tab. Then enter here the website URL. Then open website. Now I will complete a purchase. There you go. The purchase is complete. Here also we can see on TikTok Pixel Helper extension that place and order has been fired. Now I will open events manager. We can see here place and order also received here. If I click here, we will see all of the parameters like content type, contents, content ID, content name, currency, value, quantity, email, phone number, external ID, etc. So we can say the tag is working properly. After the setup, always confirm your variables are pulling the correct values. So that's it today. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tracking tutorials. And do you need any help with TikTok Pixel, Conversion API or any other tracking setup? I offer professional tracking services for platforms like TikTok, Meta, GA4, Google Ads, Pinterest and more. You can hire me on Upwork or Fiverr or reach out via email or WhatsApp number like you can see below the video. All the links are in the video description too. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.